Imagine discovering an ocean on Mars, hidden deep beneath its surface, just waiting to be found. That's exactly what scientists have done. They've made a groundbreaking discovery, a massive underground reservoir of liquid water on Mars, so large it could cover the entire planet with water up to one to two kilometers deep. But how did they find this hidden treasure? And what does it mean for the future of exploring the red planet? Let's dive into the story. Mars wasn't always the dry, dusty planet we see today. Billions of years ago, it was a very different place. Mars had a thicker atmosphere and a warmer climate, allowing liquid water to flow freely across its surface. Imagine rivers, lakes, and possibly even oceans stretching across the Martian landscape. But over time, something changed and Mars lost its water. Scientists have been trying to figure out what happened ever since. They've found some clues that show water once flowed on Mars. First, there's a network of valleys and channels on Mars that look a lot like river valleys and deltas on Earth. These features suggest that long ago, liquid water carved out these paths as it moved across the planet's surface. Second, scientists have detected minerals on Mars, like clays and certain types of salts, that only form in the presence of water. These minerals were discovered by orbiters like the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter and rovers like Curiosity. Finally, the rovers have found sedimentary rock formations on Mars, similar to those shaped by water processes here on Earth. All of this evidence paints a picture of a once wet Mars. But if Mars was once so wet, what happened to all that water? About three to four billion years ago, Mars experienced a series of catastrophic events that changed everything. It all started with the collapse of its magnetic field. You see, unlike Earth, Mars lost its global magnetic field early in its history. This magnetic field was crucial because it protected the Martian atmosphere from the solar wind, a stream of charged particles constantly blowing out from the sun. As Mars' core cooled, the dynamo effect that created its magnetic field weakened and eventually the magnetic field disappeared. Without this protective shield, Mars' atmosphere was left exposed to the relentless solar wind. Over time, this solar wind stripped away much of the atmosphere, causing it to thin out dramatically. With a thinner atmosphere, Mars could no longer support liquid water on its surface. The water began to evaporate and escape into space. The loss of atmosphere also meant a weaker greenhouse effect, which caused the planet to cool down significantly. Mars transformed from a warm, wet world to the cold, dry planet we see today. The remaining water either froze into surface ice or became trapped in the ground as permafrost. Even with these changes, something didn't add up. Scientists knew that Mars should still have a lot of water, even after accounting for the water lost to space. But where was it all hiding? The frozen water at the polar ice caps wasn't nearly enough to explain the missing water. This mystery led to an intriguing question. Could there still be large amounts of water hidden somewhere beneath Mars's surface? And if so, could this water support life? The answer came from NASA's InSight Lander, a mission designed to explore the inside of Mars. Unlike other missions that focused on the surface, InSight dug deep into the planet's crust. Over its four-year mission, InSight detected over 1,300 Mars quakes, which are like earthquakes on Mars. These quakes helped scientists study the planet's interior by analyzing the seismic waves they produced. And hidden in these seismic waves was a big surprise, a huge underground reservoir of liquid water. To uncover this hidden water, scientists used a technique similar to what we use on Earth to find underground aquifers and oil fields. By studying how seismic waves travel through different materials, they can figure out what those materials are made of. The data from InSight showed that deep below Mars's surface, between 11.5 and 20 kilometers, 7 to 13 miles down, there's a layer of fractured igneous rock filled with liquid water. Igneous rocks are formed when molten rock cools and solidifies, either beneath the surface as magma or on the surface as lava. As these rocks cool, they can develop cracks and fractures. Over time, water can seep into these cracks and be stored there. While igneous rocks aren't usually known for holding a lot of water, under the right conditions, they can retain significant amounts of it. This discovery is a game-changer for our understanding of Mars, especially when it comes to its water cycle. 
However, there's a catch. The reservoir is buried so deep that it's far beyond the reach of current technology or future astronauts. Even on Earth, drilling to such depths is an extraordinary challenge. But don't let that dampen your excitement. While finding liquid water doesn't automatically mean there's life on Mars, it does open up some fascinating possibilities. On Earth, we've found microbial life thriving in extreme environments, like deep underground or on the ocean floor. If life ever existed on Mars, or still does, it might be hiding in these deep underground waters. Understanding Mars's water cycle is not only key to learning about its climate history, but also crucial in assessing the planet's potential to support life. So what's next? Could Mars become our future home? It's a thrilling idea, but there are some major challenges we need to overcome first. The distance. Mars is about 225 million kilometers, 140 million miles, away from Earth. A round-trip mission would take 18 to 30 months, which means astronauts would need enough supplies to last the entire journey. And since Mars is so far away, help from Earth would be delayed by minutes, making it difficult to provide immediate assistance in case of emergencies. Space is filled with harmful radiation that can pose serious health risks. On Earth, we're protected by our planet's magnetic field, but Mars doesn't have this shield. Astronauts would be exposed to higher levels of radiation, increasing their risk of cancer and other health issues. Mars is a tough place to live. The surface temperatures can drop to minus 125 degrees Celsius at night, and the planet often experiences massive dust storms that can last for weeks or even months. Protecting astronauts and equipment from these extreme conditions is a significant challenge. Mars has a thin atmosphere made mostly of carbon dioxide, with very little oxygen and almost no accessible water. Astronauts will need advanced systems to generate oxygen, recycle water, and produce food. These systems must be incredibly reliable because any failure could be life-threatening. The long journey to Mars and the time spent in lower gravity could cause muscle loss, bone density issues, and other health problems. Plus, the isolation and distance from Earth could lead to stress, anxiety, and depression. Keeping astronauts healthy, both physically and mentally, is a complex challenge that will require careful planning and innovative solutions. The discovery of this massive water reservoir adds an exciting new chapter to our exploration of Mars. While reaching and using this water may be a distant goal, it sparks the imagination about what could be possible as we continue to explore the Red Planet. Could we one day tap into this hidden resource? Could life as we know it exist deep underground on Mars? The answers to these questions could change our understanding of life in the universe forever. For now, we can only dream and continue our quest to unlock the secrets of Mars. Every discovery brings us one step closer to understanding this mysterious world, and perhaps one day, making it a part of our own. Keep your eyes on the stars because the story of Mars is just beginning to unfold.